we're going to be doing a manual muscle test for our spinalis thoracis segment in through here. Um, again, if you've watched the palpation video, we've already kind of talked about its actions, but because this muscle is attaching, originating, and inserting just to spinous processes, it really does not have a rotational component, and it really only does extension and lateral flexion if you were firing off one side, which is what we're doing. So what I'm going to ask is that he's going to lift this part of his body up off the table. Again, we can start to see that muscle firing there. But because we're focusing on a manual muscle test for the left, I'm going to ask him just to laterally flex his spine to the left. So no rotational component. Let's do that one more time. Extension and lateral flexion. If you need to give them a little bit of a cue, what I like to do is go on to the shoulders so I can ask them to extend and then I can really kind of show them what lateral flexion is by pulling down on that shoulder. Let's try that one more time, extension and lateral flexion. Excellent. Okay, so he's gonna lift his spine up and to the side gently, and I'm gonna go on that opposite shoulder and try to pull him back down towards the table. Three, two, and one, excellent. And now one more up and to the side for our concentric. Okay, so that is the active break and concentric for spinalis thoracis and we will come back in a second for the length. Switching up this video by lengthening out this spinalis thoracis segment. So again from L2 to T4. So I'm really focusing on just this part of the spine. So he's sitting in a nice upright position. You can see it's fairly straight but what I'm going to ask at first is for him to slouch and I'm just going to add that pressure into the spine right through there just to really get that flexion to come out through the spine. Now because spinalis thoracis does not have a rotational component, it really is just extension and lateral flexion, I'm going to lengthen out his right side by just pushing his spine over to the side here. So I'm pushing down on his left shoulder, which is lengthening out the right hand side spinalis thoracis. Let's come back up, let's do that one more time, because it's nice and easy. We're going to relax the spine with the slouch. I'm going to push down on the spine, on the shoulders, and then I'm going to push on the left shoulder, bringing him into a lateral flexion away. So there's the length for our spinalis thoracis segment.